I'm not a rapper. Oh, you're not a rapper. Tell uh, me about you. Who yeah. are you? I'm a hash maker. <laughs> Wait, are you Van Egyptian? Yes. Oh, bitch, you didn't have to tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who sits in front of me. What the fuck? Hello. I've heard yeah. lots about you. So, um, tell me about what you do. I've seen those giant fucking joints over there. Yeah. Those are crazy. So... That size exclusively was made for the Cyphers event. Okay. So I was invited by a couple of friends, mm -hmm. and they told me the event was called the Hot Box. And yeah. I told them I must go. <laughs> I need to see it. Yeah. And it was okay. There was a few joints here and there. <laughs> not quite a smoky. Not quite not to the level of a Hot Box. Yeah. <laughs> and luckily I had one with me that day. Okay. And they light it. And yeah. next thing, Sam comes out of nowhere, chases the smoke, <laughs> and he just loved it. Yeah. And I couldn't help but try to make the hot box uh, actually hot box. Yeah, I, you do it well. It's very, <laughs> it gets super hot boxed over there with that. Yeah, the first day, great vibes. Next Tuesday, came again. Mm -hmm. It was just getting better and better, and I yeah. decided to. Uh, always sponsor every Tuesday nice. or what event yeah. and have one of those on hand nice. something about the hash high brings people together um, Canada, the US uh, flour seems to be the most dominant form of uh, consumption Okay. while hash especially in social setting is what nations around the world have been doing uh, that oh. was the original uh, social drug oh. um, so what is hash so hash is the trichome or the round heads what you would call crystal keef the shiny parts of the keef. Oh, flower okay. oh okay um, so Hash is the act of isolating the heads, whether that mm. being by dry sift or ice water or dry ice, mm. and exposing that lump into heat and mm. pressing it over and over until it darkens. Okay. This is what actual meaning of hash is. Okay, but interesting. But now we're in a modern time with mm. all crazy concentrates around. Yeah. Uh, we're now on the rise of solventless concentrates, anything that was made with a dry sift or, or ice water extraction. And it progressed from a brown or dark piece of hash to granulated white sand-like uh, consistency. Mm -hmm. And this is the new rise of cannabis. Not necessarily oh. better, but it's just more of the... Uh, People have broken it down into science. They were able to refine it further instead of just pressing it. Right, right. Uh, the topic is pretty huge. I can yeah. talk about it for an hour. Um, so, are you? So, do you like work at like a like a weed store, like a shop, or like do you have your own kind of like business? Like, what do you tell me more about what you do? So, I teach people about hash making. Okay. I have gotten around making hash on my oh, personal okay. scale. Oh, sharing it with friends that understands and have similar interest in hash mm -hmm. whether that being from cultural background or mm -hmm. from Canadians that have tried the experience and it helped them immensely some mm -hmm. people got off medications some right. people have felt more social less weird about smoking or getting high which it's pretty common at like least less, like anxiety type stuff yeah i believe uh mm. flower smoke can be a scatter high uh mm. paranoia you're a bit, mm. bit too self-conscious mm. when it comes into hash smoking it can be heavy at first for some users but there is a sense of peace it's like a warm blanket that covers you and you feel comfortable and mm. anyone else in the room who has smoked it get the same feeling so right. it eliminates hostility 
And it's a pretty relaxed state from okay. just consuming raw flour. Yeah. Um, That's great. So, luckily, I'm in Canada. So, I have learned about hash back home through... And where where is home? Egypt. Okay. Yes. Beautiful. Uh, we, if we're going to go back through history, we've mm-hmm. been using cannabis for the past 7,000 years ago. Yeah. And we've wow. been using it mainly in forms of infusion. Mm-hmm. They used to infuse it with some sort of alcohol and linen cloth, and they mix the hash and everything and let it sit in a bowl, and that would be wrapped around anywhere that would have pain. Menstrual, it was oh. prescribed for um, uh, the menstrual pain. Oh. Um, that was the very use main use for it. <laughs> uh, I wonder what kind of alcohol they used, uh, mm. but it sounds that they just had an idea of how to get those medicinal effects out of uh, out of that plant and right. smoking came on later but it was not the first forms of consumption okay. or using the plant medicinally right. so yeah we have been using it for the longest time mm-hmm. and so when did you start smoking when I came to Canada. Okay, when was that? Uh, so I came here when I was 18. Okay. Uh, 2014. Okay. And my first interaction was actually hash with tobacco uh, from a Middle Eastern friend. Okay. And that was the very first thing that I wanted to try now that I'm not in uh, back home because there's... Um, uh, a stigma around cannabis use or drugs in general oh, really? and it definitely has to do with how dirty the drugs are back home so hash mm-hmm. is not even hash high it's cut yeah. with pharmaceuticals and oh. rat poisons and weird stuff oh, no. um, so the hash um, repetition has been tarnished in the last 20 years um, oh, all over the Middle East but oh. that has to do with the late 1800s we were we had the uh, French occupation, we had the British occupation, and basically the damage that they have done was alter the laws and gain whatever they can gain out of it, whether it's knowledge, trade, and yeah, they alter their laws, they left, yeah. and now that's been the norm since then, that all yeah. these drugs are um, prohibited, and you get in severe um, sentences for possessing any but it's still widely practiced people smoke every day people do it that <laughs> doesn't stop it we're over a yeah. hundred million uh, people currently or I think a hundred and ten million oh, so you can fill the jail so much yeah um, but yeah it, it's acceptable to an extent but it's not as great as it used to be before the 1800s where they had coffee shops for it it was a practice Whoa. so so this is in terms of the cities it's mostly prohibited but if we're gonna go to the outskirts villages uh, where all the farmers are it is a prominent part of their daily life oh. so they would plow the fields work under the scorching sun for hours non end and at the end of the night you go to family, you have dinner, and then you leave. Where do you go to? It would be some sort of like instantly made uh, smoking hut built with hay, wow. sticks, okay. and you would find all the males of the village <laughs> right there. Smoking up. We would have a small hookah, we call it goza. Oh. They call it goza because goza in Arabic would translate to coconut. So oh. you, originally it was a piece of coconut with a bamboo stick coming out, oh. almost like a chalice. Yeah. And this is was the main way of con- consuming it, the same way that you consume hookah, but there is quite a bit of hash in there. Right. And okay. this is the socializing circle, mm-hmm. the pain relief circle that... Oh. Egyptians have been doing on generation for a country that grows and relies on uh, on its uh, agriculture Mm -hmm. Um, you can't expect someone to work under all these conditions and do that day after day and not get that sort of relief and this is the part that people are just siding with the change of the laws then and not actually seeing what that plant had it fed this country for the longest time no one wants to work that kind of work for the longest time but they know at the end of the day you get that sense of peace and you're sharing everyone's feelings Um, you're all like one people 
That's beautiful. Yeah, that's the the short version of what hash is to yeah. Egypt. That's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that. That was oh. wonderful. Oh, pleasure. And also, I like love your name now that I know what it is. Like Van and Egyptian? Yes. It's great. Uh, I love it. Yeah, a friend picked that name for me. Oh, yeah. Um, he just... <laughs> there have been a lot of crazy events that had gone through my stay in Canada, transitioning from a student to mm-hmm. working to say, fuck everything, I'm mm-hmm. going to stick to what I know best. I have known the culture for the longest time, but I've never gotten into the making part. But in right. Canada, you simply can. Yeah, and that's great. The safe way of doing it was I would meet a grower, I would offer him my services, and they would be curious, what could you offer? Well, I'm from these producing countries mm-hmm. where all the hash gurus around the world will have to travel to the producing countries to gain the knowledge. I'm already from there, and I know quite a bit, but I have not got into the uh, practice side. Right. And... It just took the matter of a few growers of going with it and trialing the work. Mm-hmm. And this is where my relationship started with uh, hash making to be able to have it consistently and then have an educational page on it. Yeah. So, uh, privilege to be here and to be able yeah. to practice that because I don't think in a hundred years in Egypt that would have been possible if I was still there right well I'm so glad that you have the opportunity to do that here that's great yeah Vancouver is an interesting city Mm -hmm. I would like to tribute a lot to my growing experience and and that city it's uh, just pretty rapid and small and wherever you see today you'll see them next day you'll see them yeah it's I like the whole part about it that what pushed me to be better because I've met a lot of people throughout my time here yeah. and every time that we have met I did not notice how far you can go through life and they're just a reminder you're doing this now you're doing that and right. yeah as nice. as people have some not so good things to say about the city but uh, yeah. if you find your spot in it yeah it's a beautiful place it is and you can say bad things about every city you know so just see the positives I think it's a beautiful city too I love it sweet awesome yeah. well thank you so much um, oh. can you tell what your Instagram is is it just Van Gyptian yeah how do you spell if that if you would like to follow us on Instagram it's Van Gyptian V-A-N G-Y P-T-I-A-N Cool. 1.0 Cool. Uh, mostly you're going to find the backup but just make sure you type 1.0 at the end <laughs> and you'll be able to find me you're and good. everything educational about hash nice, sweet, well thank you so much alright, thank you yeah.